Hello my saxophone playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson I'm going to give you the three step process for learning and memorizing your scales on the saxophone. It's super easy, super straightforward and it actually starts without even using the saxophone at all. Now before I get into the details of how to do this three step process, go ahead and download my saxophone scale cheat sheets absolutely free. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales and you can download the PDF and that's going to include all the scales for the saxophone, major scales, minor scales, pentatonic scales, blue scales, written out in letter form as well as notated and each of those scales are going to have their own cheat sheet. So you can actually start learning all of these scales right away for free by just downloading that PDF and I'm also going to explain a little bit about western music, about flats and sharp and how these different scales are formed on the saxophone. So if you go ahead and download that, it's going to help with following along to this lesson. And so once you have my cheat sheets, the first thing you want to do is decide what scale you want to learn. So we're going to use the example of G major on the saxophone, which is what I recommend for beginner saxophone players. And if you want to watch a video of how to play G major step by step, I actually have a lesson on that and I'll link to it at the end of this lesson or in the description of this video. But I'm going to use that as an example of how you start learning your scales on the saxophone. And it starts with just learning the letter names of the scales. So for G major, you want to learn what the letter names are. And if you look at the saxophone scale cheat sheets, you'll actually find G major inside the major scale cheat sheet. And you can just look at the letter names and start to memorize them. So G major is G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. It's seven notes in every major scale and they are the seven notes of G major. So that's the first thing you want to do is just cover over the letter names of that scale and start to memorize those letter names. So that's the first step, just learn the letter names, cover over the cheat sheet, get it into your head and then you're going to move on to actually using the saxophone. So I'm going to pick up the sax but we're not actually going to play it yet, we're just going to finger through the notes on the saxophone of G major. So we're not even going to play yet, we're just going to say the letter names while pressing on the fingerings. And if you get my saxophone scale cheat sheets, there's actually a fingering chart that you can get for free inside those cheat sheets as well. And you can start to see which fingering equates to which letter name. So we're going to start with G, which is those first three fingers in the left hand. And we're going to go all the way up to F sharp, which is the last note of the G major scale. So let me show you. So we're going to start on G, then we're going to move to A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then we're going to land on G again, but this time we're holding the octave key. So that is the entire G major scale. We're going G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then we just land on G again. Now we want to actually go back the opposite way. We want to go descending. G with the octave key, F sharp with the octave key, E, D, C, B, A, and then G with no octave key. And so this is the second step with learning any scale on the saxophone. You just finger through the notes in a one octave range and say the letter names out loud as you go through those notes. So you start on G and you move all the way up to G with the octave key. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, then we land on G again, which is just the root note, which is the first note of G major. And then we do the same thing descending. So you just go through this process two or three times until you've really connected the letter names to your fingerings. So you can go ascending and descending, ascending and descending two or three times until you really get it memorized. And so this is the best way to really understand your scales and memorize your scales as well. Instead of just reading the sheet music, instead of trying to read the letter names as you're learning the scales, you're actually memorizing it, getting it into your muscle memory, and that's gonna make it so much easier to go on to the third step which is to play the scale. So if you watch my other lessons, you know that I really encourage you to warm up on the saxophone. You can start with mouthpiece and neck exercises. You can move on to long tones, but try to warm up on the saxophone first before trying to learn a new scale like this. And I actually have a video on five essential warm-ups that I link to at the end of this lesson and in the description below. And of course, if you want more lessons like this for free, I put videos out every single week. So make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and make sure to like this video if you're finding it helpful. 
helpful. So now we move on to step three, which is to play the scale. And we're just gonna play the scale in one octave to start. So let me show you. So we're starting on G, which is three fingers in the left hand, going all the way up to G with the octave key. And we're gonna play every note of the scale. And that's the third and final step for learning and memorizing your scales with ease. You want to take it really slowly, you want to take your time, preferably you want to tongue every note, and eventually you want to be able to play it to a metronome as well. So this is a three-step process. Step one, you just memorize the letter names. Step two, you start to finger through the notes while looking at my fingering chart inside the saxophone scale cheat sheets. And step three is to then play the scale once you've memorized the notes, once you've memorize where your fingers are supposed to go and that's going to make it so much easier to start playing the scale on the sax. Remember to download my saxophone scale cheat sheets at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales if you want to get more details on all the different letter names for all the different scales on the saxophone as well as get access to a fingering chart to help you learn all of those scales as well as an explanation of how all these different scales are formed using sharps, using flats. I go through all of that inside this PDF so go ahead and download it. There's a link in the description of this video. All right my friend I really hope you found this helpful and you start to learn your scale with ease using this three-step process. Let me know if you did find it helpful, comment below and tell me what scales you're learning right now and what your biggest challenge is with learning scales. I'd love to know as this is how I get ideas for what videos to make every single week. And if you do want to learn your scales step by step, I actually have a few different lessons on this channel and I'll link to them in the description of this video for you to check out. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please subscribe if you want to see more lessons like this every single week. Please like this video if you found it helpful and until until next time, happy playing.